Today, I'm making an Appleton Estate classic cocktail, which is a twist on a classic cocktail. And this drink is the Estate Daiquiri. Notice I didn't just say Daiquiri, right? The Estate Daiquiri, lovely cocktail. I'm going to teach you about the drink today and show you the ingredients. But if you're interested in drink related content, please subscribe. And if you already subscribed, just hit the notification bell so you're one of the first persons who receive the video whenever I post any. So, soon come. Appleton Estate 8 year old reserve rum and this rum is the first rum created by Appleton Estate master blender Joy Spence it's a minimum age rum so once you see the 8 on the bottle that is the youngest blend in the bottle so this rum is like a spicy fruit cake because of the spicy elements that you get from this rum like your cinnamon your nutmeg notes like that and also the citrus note now, the simple syrup that we are going to use is brown sugar simple syrup. Why? Because it brings out those spicy notes into the rum more. And also lime juice. Simple as that. You're going to need your jigger and also your shaker. If you don't have a shaker at home, you can use your mason jar with a lid. And guys, the classic daiquiri is a shaken drink, not a frozen drink. But you can make it frozen as well. So the glassware that we're going to use is the coupe or coupe. And this drink is served straight up, meaning no ice. All right? So first, we're gonna chill the glass and we're gonna put that to the side. Now we're going to get our mixing glass or our mixing tin. So I'm going to add the cheapest ingredient first which is the lime juice. So I'm going with quarter ounce of lime juice. And just to play on that citrus note of the rum. And you know a daiquiri can't go without lime juice, right? Now, for the syrup, one ounce of brown sugar simple syrup. And this is rich in flavor, guys. And the molasses taste helps to pair well with the, the reserve because you know that Appleton Estate use molasses to make their rum. So now I'm going with two ounces of the reserve. Then I'm going to add ice. And let's shake. So the glass that is chilling, we're going to dispose this ice. So now we're going to fine strain because we don't want any ice particle in the drink. For the garnish, you can use lime wheel or a lime wedge, but I'm going to use an orange peel and I'm just going to zest it over the glass like so. Why? Because I'm just playing on the estate citrus note and I'm just gonna garnish like that. So, simple as this guys. This is really simple and really complex at the same time. The estate daiquiri. All right guys, so one thing I really love about this drink, it is easy to make but easy to mess up as well. So you have to ensure this drink is well balanced. All right? So if you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. And guys, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share this channel with a friend. And don't forget, make your suggestions in the comment section. So big up on yourself. Before you go, make sure you give me a thumbs up. So next week, Friday.